Yo everyone, this is Dreamcube17, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this is about my 10th time trying to write this tutorial. And I'm going to, for the 10th time, show you how to make this cave, which I've made millions of times, because one or another thing kept going wrong. Some of you were even lucky enough to see the old broken version of the video that I put up. Well, some of it was human error, some of it was just fate saying you're not going to put up this video. But guess what? I am going to put it up. So let's get started. New. And we want to enter a vertex object. We want to... Put in... Oh, we want to put this in front camera. Uh, front. There you go. And we want to click on the N object. N for nuggets. Or noodles. So basically, for um those of you who are slightly newer to 3D, what I'm going to do, what I'm doing right now, you have to make a... It has to be a closed shape in order for this to work. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of, like, two-dimensional ring shapes. <coughs> Hit enter. And then I'm going to tell the program to trace them to make an actual 3D shape. So it like connect the dots in 3D except it's collect them collect them connect the lines. So copy paste. Yeah. Copy paste. Oops, I think I already have one over here. I did have one over there. My bad. Uh I know that looked kinda weird, but I accidentally copy and pasted it two times at the same spot. So copy paste. I want to make the floor craggy a little bit, so I'm going to add more points. Right click anywhere on the screen to do that, to get that menu. Um, move these kids up a little bit. <laughs> Who says the grounds need to be straight? I don't. Move that down. Copy paste. Uh huh. Move that over. A long way over. Copy paste. Turn. I'm holding R to do that. <coughs> Copy paste. If you don't stop doing that, I told you, see, it doesn't want me to make it. Turn. Slide. And one more. Nah, no more. We're done. So, as you can see, you can see the cave type of you, you get the idea so we want to select this first one right here this whole first one we double click on it to select it we go to construct <clears throat> we go to ruled and bing bing and this one and that one and that one and that one and since I'm here that's great uh, it's not letting me there you go Alright, so now what I'm going to do, since I'm already here, is go to, go to, it should be here, where is it? Reverse polygon normal is not selected. I don't know why it is not selected, but it is not. It needs to be selected, because we need to click on it. Hmm, this is strange. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, we've reversed polygon normals. So, well, what is that, you ask? Well, polygons only have one side. Oh, this light, that's the sun, you don't need it, we're in a cave. Um, so polygons have, uh, one side. They don't, they're not two-sided, they're one-sided, so they're flat. So, oops, see how this looks like, oh, it's got one side, and then it's got another side. Yeah, that's just lying to you. It's just showing you that, so you, it's being nice to you. It's only actually got one, and all those sides are facing inwards right now. Um, maybe later I can show you how to make it look like that. Um, we're gonna make this cave. That air you hear is the fan coming from my computer. Um, we're gonna make this cave 60 feet. You know what? No. We're gonna make it 80 feet. And then you hit tab to do that. It's a whoa. Um oh make sure you click on that before you do it. And that's the uh keep scale button. Otherwise it's gonna look really weird. 
there you go. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, ain't that a beauty. Now, to keep this short, I'm gonna make a tiny cave. A tiny cave! Because we don't have time for tons of stuff. So, without further ado, light bulbs. Let's go ahead and pull them in. I'm gonna scale this up a little bit. This does not make the light bigger, this just makes the shape of it bigger. Oh, look at that, we've got three minutes left. Uh, so, let's quickly do this. Um, we're gonna have this light bulb be blue. Um, we're going to have it shine 40 feet in every direction, not 400. Uh, this should yield some pretty good results. We're gonna put fall off to here. And then we're gonna hit render. What does all that stuff do? Well, just you see. Hmm. Oh, and all my rushing, I forgot to add the material to the cave. So let's go ahead. Stone and rocks. It's you see it highlighted right there. So now I'll render again in a second. Um. Now we're gonna go to effects. We're going to click on cross screen. We're going to click on go. We're going to click on light spheres. We're going to go to cross screen. We're going to put this at 11. No, we're going to put this at 7. We're going to put this at 5. We're going to put the intensity down a little bit. We're going to go to glow. We're going to per turn that down. You can click on auto update if you want. We're going to put that at 11. Um. Apparently, the light is still too bright. It's shining too far around the cave. Let's come back, turn it to 20 feet. 20 feet. And we're going to do quick render. It's too small. So, let me pause again, and I'll find the right measurement, and I'll come back. Okay, I don't know what happened before, but it was supposed to be 40 feet. All right, so now we're going to put an overview, and this is why we want to see the inside. Because now we can go copy-paste. Copy paste, move. Copy paste, move. Copy paste, move. Slide, move. Copy paste, move. Copy paste, move. Copy paste, move. Paste. Uh, screw those two. Alright, so we're basic we should basically be done right now. And so we're gonna click on camera, we're going to go to zoom, we're going to ooh, whoa, whoa. Uh hold on a minute. I'm gonna get the zoom exactly right. Alright, now we're gonna hit render. I've got global illumination on, so it'll look really nice. So yeah, I've already made one. That's from the previous 80,000 tutorials I tried to do. That looks decent enough. It could be a bit more brighter on the floor, but you can still see the floor, so we're done. And I'll pause and do a GI so you can see what it looks like. Okay, we're back, and that's what it looks like with global illumination. And uh, so, yes, you can see it's a little bit brighter because the light's bouncing off of everything now. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. You will see this on YouTube. And, uh, obviously. So bye.